And so a cruiserweight fight now between Shane Sutcliffe and Johnny Kaiser. And Sutcliffe's a guy that uh, I think you're going to like, an action fighter. That's what everybody's looking for. We already saw one tonight in Rudy Zavala. We'll talk with him in just a moment. But right now, let's get to the center of the ring and meet these two. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the cruiserweight division. This bout scheduled for four rounds. The referee for this contest is Kevin McCarroll. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the black trunks with white trim. Even one... 88 pounds from Limo, Canada. His professional record is undefeated 3 0, 2 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Kid Thunder Sutcliffe. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks and also coming in at an even 188 pounds from Denver, Colorado. He's also undefeated his record 1 and 0. Oh, introducing John Kim Kai. Montana Athletic Commission, I want a clean fight, all right? Shake hands, good luck to you. So here's a look at Johnny Kaiser in his second professional fight. They enlisted him originally at one. He told us that he lost a close decision in his first fight. And meanwhile, Shane Sutcliffe, who we saw in his debut here on Top Rank Boxing, has now had three professional fights. Really interesting story, Shane Sutcliffe, a guy who started fighting in tough man contests at age 14. <clears throat> And one one at age 15. Now Kaiser comes out bombing. It might have hurt something. Johnny Kaiser told us today he thought he learned a lot in that first pro fight. He's only had about, he only had a couple amateur fights. This is about the fourth or fifth time he's been in a ring, period. He was a wrestler, so. Yeah, a college wrestler. He looks like he was a good athlete. Already the nose of Sutcliffe is bloody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Contest, doesn't you have to have that going <laughs> into mandatory. a tough guy contest. <laughs> We've been working with Jesse Reed down in Houston. He's a guy really who is just learning the sport of boxing, literally. Good left hand from Kaiser. Jesse Reed, of course, a fine trainer who will be working with Todd Foster a little bit later. Sutcliffe said he has learned a lot from him in the time they've been together. He said, but there's so much to absorb and so much to learn. He said, it just comes a little piece at a time. And the last time he uh, fought in the ESPN, he was saying that, uh, he said, I think I'll show you a little better jab this time. And he said, I didn't really have a jab last time. Didn't know what it was. Nice left hook again by Kaiser, a little bit off balance. Kaiser leaving himself wide open as he comes in, his hands low. got there with a left hand and Kaiser got there with another one. Kaiser is slapping with that left hook but still getting it in. You see him slapping with it but, but landing it. Both men landing some big punches here in round one. More from Kaiser. Kaiser says in his first fight, he just sort of showed up and fought. Now he's been in the gym for three months. Feels like he's more prepared for this fight than the last. To keep that left hand a little higher. Those are both caught in the gloves of Sutcliffe. Slap at that left hand, doesn't he, Kaiser? But not a bad round for Johnny. No, I think he probably won the round. And speaking of winning the round, we are joined now by Rudy Zavala, who just won himself a fight. And Rudy, I guess it pretty much was the way you'd want to draw it up. You boxed him the first round, boxed him the second round. When you hurt him, you put him away. That's the name of the game, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I've been working on. I mean, I, you can't go into every fight and expect, I mean, expect to knock the guy out in the early rounds, but. Uh, 
Uh, as my manager said, you got to go in there and box, fill the guy out. He goes, don't try to knock him out right away because, you know, you can get hurt yourself. And that's what I did. I boxed him, I hurt him, and I uh, tried to put him out when I knew he was hurt. Well, you finished him, and I think yeah, that's I the mark him. of a good fighter is yes. when you do get the guy hurt. Rudy, were you distressed at all, though, that he was able to land a lot of those jabs against you? Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, I've been off, uh, not, I mean, uh, Usually I haven't been off that long, and this was my first long layoff, and uh, I figured uh, that I'd move a little more, but I was a little stiff. But uh, my next fight will be a, a lot better. Rudy, it was a good comeback fight for you, though. We look forward to seeing you again. Oh, thank you. Rudy Zavala, winner over Freddie Hernandez with a third-round knockout. And no question you will see more of him on top rank fights. And a good left hand from Kaiser to start things. Such that, as you can see, this landed two punches. That could be an all-time low. And he was 0 for 13 in jabs, so Shane saying he would do better with the jab was not able to in the round one. Well, he knows what it is now. He still just doesn't know how to throw it. But Kaiser is strong. Or rather, uh, Sutcliffe is strong. And I will emphasize, when I correct an error there in the crowd, he seven punches actually landed for Sutcliffe. Okay. Still not that much. Sutcliffe's kind of reverting back to tough yeah, guy days, isn't Yeah, it's funny. You were just, I was just going to say that. And you know what? Because both men are a little unskilled, what he'll do is try and make this fight more exciting, if not more artistic. Although it has been exciting already. There's a rarity, a body shot. Get right on. Yeah, we haven't seen too much of that, have we? Sutcliffe's still only 17 years of age. Yeah, a very young man, and you know, he he needs to run, land that right hand. He's got a very quick right hand, and if he could set it up better with the jab, it would get in there. Still a long way to go, and a lot to learn for Sutcliffe. Now, Johnny Kaiser, you're really in the same boat almost exactly, and what Johnny Kaiser has, though, that Shane has not shown, is an ability to occasionally throw combinations. He'll throw two or three punches in a row. They both seem to be in good shape. And Sutcliffe wraps him on the break, and that may cost him a point. Well, I'd take a point away for it. I thought that was very deliberate and very a very strong punch. Cannot afford to lose a point in a four-round fight. No. has got to throw that left hook in a little bit of better fashion if he's to move on in boxing. But he's getting it in anyway. Yeah, he is. Good right hand there. Straight right hand got right through the gloves. Except that he wound up with that one like a pitcher would. Yes. Yeah. Coming to the end of the second round, and Johnny Kaiser doing a very nice job in just his second professional fight against Shane Sutcliffe. We'll be back. Kaiser pressuring Shane Sutcliffe, landing the right hand that he kind of wound up with. <laughs> now, if these were the amateurs, those punches wouldn't count for points because he wouldn't be landing with the white part of the glove, but some of them having an impact on Shane Sutcliffe. This has really become a brawl here. I don't think any of those punches hurt. In fact, I don't even think very many of them got there. Through the first two rounds, you can see Kaiser doing much more work and being much more effective than Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe just not accurate with the jab and the right hand. That's the main combination he's throwing. There's a left hook uppercut. Sutcliffe is, however, a guy who can get you out of there with one punch. And he might have to do that. He got Kaiser ahead by two points. I thought he won the first two rounds rather handily. Sutcliffe has a very good uppercut, and on the inside there, he needs to use that weapon more. 
and he's a good body puncher too. He's just not done enough in this bout, I think. He might be getting a little tired too. I think both of them might be getting a little tired. I'll tell you in this round, Sutton was nice jab by Kaiser. A jab, what a kind of yeah, I remember that. Sutcliffe continues to miss with the right hand over the top. And Kaiser is missing more with the left, but Sutcliffe is picking. There's another jab, picking most of the power shots of Kaiser. Kaiser's, yeah, Kaiser's jab really getting there, Barry. And there's that left hook. <laughs> that's, as wide, that's as roundhouse a left hook as I've seen in ages. Yeah, now those punches, as you said, aren't getting there. Kaiser's jab lands every time he throws it just about. That was a right hand that hurt Kaiser. I think Kaiser, Kaiser's still hurt. He's getting he's hurt and he's getting tired. Really is fatigued at this point. And I'll tell you, for him, these are key moments in his spot. Because if he can avoid losing the third round, I think he's pretty much a lock to win this fight unless he gets knocked out in the fourth. <laughs> well, that could hurt your shoulder. He threw that uppercut from way outside and Sutcliffe almost nailed him while he was doing it. And another left hand, although a little bit more of a slapping left hand, but a better round for Sutcliffe. Close round. We'll be back. Kaiser with this jab that lands very well. He threw about three or four real good jabs in that round. Going to go on here while they try to find the maintenance man who I think is on a break. Sutcliffe jumping right on Kaiser. The fact that there is no delay to fix the rope, I would have to think is to Sutcliffe's advantage because Kaiser was getting tired. Yeah, I agree with you, Barry. And uh, Sutcliffe probably could, could go into the prevent defense. And even though I want to mention, as you look at this view, it looks like the rope all inside of where they would step. That's an optical illusion. It is just on the outside, so presumably they should not be stepping on it and uh, shouldn't, it shouldn't get tangled up, although it is kind of odd that they haven't fixed that rope. Wasn't there when I wasn't here, but the, Miles that, City. Well, there was a broken rope there too, right? Yeah. That, that was the kind of rope there that could have been dangerous because it was a top rope. And Shane Sutcliffe, was, was he involved in that actual fight? I believe he, that's exactly right. That's right. Well, that's, that's an oddity. That was the left hand that was just a little short. Sutcliffe, I think, fighting like a man who knows that he has to get Kaiser out of there if he's going to win the fight. I'll tell you one thing. They'll be very distressed, though, if somebody is knocked into those ropes as Freddie Hernandez was on this side of the ring and they go through and hurt themselves. Watch your head, Shane. Watch your head. Work out, bro. Kaiser continues to crank that hook up. Yeah, I was going to say again, he hasn't used it. He didn't use it for a while, but now he is using it. We've been doing these fights together. I'm ready to say the same thing you are. Does that mean we're redundant? Does that mean one of us can be eliminated here? That's right. Wait, I hope uh -oh. not. Ooh, ouch. Upper, 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 upper cut. So I'm trying to land the lead right and getting it in, but he's a young man who, as you said, at only 17, obviously they're working on him, trying to get his skill levels up. I think he's a young man that could become a fighter, as could Ricky Kai or as could um, Kaiser. Yeah, he looks like it. Both of them actually look like they, they have. A decent fighter. Yeah, I meant Johnny Kaiser. I said Ricky Kaiser. This would appear to be Kaiser's bout unless the judges totally disagree with us, which of course has absolutely never happened. <laughs> no, not for a week or so. <laughs> yeah, till last Wednesday, I think it was. That is a no-no, that left uppercut from a long distance back. Ten seconds left in this fight. I'm not sure what was to be learned for both these fighters in this fight, and it's over. I think what happens is, along the way, for instance, during about this man, 
Johnny Kaiser all of a sudden discovered a jab. He knew he had it, of course, but started landing it. And I think Give that to you. something as small as that, you can take him to your next fight. And there is a look at Shane Sutcliffe, who might have come up on the short end for the first time in his young career. And a reminder, hockey only on ESPN. The New York Islanders and the New Jersey Devils, Friday night, 7.30 Eastern time. The NHL on ESPN. And uh, for Kaiser, I think this match outlined both the areas he needs work in and some of the areas he's going to. There's the uh, punch numbers. Now you can see, and for a four-round fight, that, that's, that's a reasonable uh, difference. All right, let's go up to the center of the ring and Michael Buffer for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Lyle Brugman scores the bout 40 to 36. Jimmy Shea scores at 38 to 39. Oh, Jimmy Shea scores the bout 39-38. He has it for Sutcliffe. John Antonetti scores the bout 40 to 37, and Lyle Brugman scores the bout 40 to 36. The winner by split decision, Johnny Kaiser. Probably a little bit closer than you might have thought, but Johnny Kaiser is a split decision winner. And we'll be back with more from Missoula, Montana, after this. <laughs>